good afternoon guys okay today i'm going to do is stock market uh, analysis in term of uh, earning per share so we'll do and uh, explain what's earning per share and sort of see it for this company called uh, dialogue sendrian berhad so what is actually uh, what is actually dialogue dialogue is actually a leading technical service provider in the oil, gas, and petrochemical industry. They serve a diverse range of customers that include multinational oil majors, national oil companies, as well as multinational engineering. They were established in 1984. They are headquartered in Kuala Lumpur, and they are a global player with a staff rank of 2,900. They have offices in Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Indo Indonesia, Philippines, China, Australia, New Zealand, Saudi Arabia, and United Arab Emirates. So they are listed on the main market of Bursa, Malaysia, with a market cap capitalization of approximately 20 billion. So from my analysis of this company, I feel that this is a, a very good company. So the reason that I'm saying that this company right, has potential is because if you look at this company, they started at 1984. But if we analyze their data from 1998 to the year 2002, they are sort of having a return of, on equity of 30.91. Okay, so the return of equity is about 30.91. So you can see here, right, from 1998 to the year 2002, the return of equity is 35.91. And then from 2008 to 2017, their average return of equity is 18.17. So this is actually extreme, uh, extremely good uh, record because they are able to maintain this ROE for an extremely long period. So you see, uh, it's something like uh, 19 years, they're able to maintain such a good uh, ROE. And then if you look at uh, the earning per share growth, they're averaging about 51.3%. Uh, from 1998 to 2002. So if you look at here, it's 51.3%, all right? So you can see from 1998 to 2002, it's 51.3. Then from 200, 2008 to 2017, average earning per per year, they are around 19.61. So overall, what this shows you is this company has been uh, able to produce a consistent earning per share growth. That means their earning is growing consistently for the past 20 years. And the figures are quite high. So let's uh, first of all, uh, the whole purpose of this video is actually to do an introduction about uh, EPS and EPS growth. So what is actually uh, EPS, right? So if you look at what's EPS, so here you have uh, EPS, which stands for earning per share. So if you see the definition or the formula for earning per share, it's actually the net profit of a company. You got the net profit. And then it will be divided with the uh, total outstanding share. I'll do it uh, short form. That means the total shares. So in another word, right? 
what EPA say what EPA stands for it is actually the per share right one share how much is it earning so that's basically what uh, earning per share is so let's look at a uh, dialogue Sunian Berhad starting from the year 2009 so you got 2009 here so I've take I've got the data for 10 years from 2009 to 2019 so if you look at uh, Dialogue Sundian Berhad, let's look from 2009 to 2010. So their earning per share has grown from 2 cents to 2.6 cents per share. That means one single share. And if you buy one single share, uh, you're sort of earning 2 cents at 2009. And then 2010, you're earning about 2.6 cents. So and then you see at uh, 2011 is about 26.92 and that's like a very very huge growth. 2012 is 12.13, 2013 is 8.10, 2014 is 10%. So you see they they actually managed to consistently grow their earnings. You see that there's never a time when the earnings sort of reduce. Every year is growing and getting bigger and bigger. So let's see how first of all uh, we we do the calculation for earning per share for one year. Let's say I want to see what is the earning per share growth from year 2009 to 2010. So here I've uh, given you as 30%. So how did I get this 30%? So the formula would be okay if you want to uh, if you want to calculate the earning per share growth. So the EPS growth. So the EPS growth will be, the formula will be the final EPF, final year EPF, EPS, sorry, yeah, final year EPS. Okay, you got to minus the initial year EPS. And then you got to divide with the initial EPS. Then you got times with 100%. So this is how you find the EPS growth. Why EPS growth is extremely important? Because it basically shows whether a company earning is growing. So if a company's net income is growing every year, then the EPS also should grow, right? As long as the uh, number of stock is same, right? Then the EPS will grow. That means Indirectly, EPS growth is showing you that a company is increasing its net income or net profit on year-to-year -year basis. Okay, let's see for 2009 to 2010, I calculated that the EPS has grown as much as 30%. So let me just show you how to do this using this formula. So remember this data of EPS, everything, you can sort of get it from uh, the annual reports of the company if you do not want to get it from the annual reports of the company then you can get it from things like msn money but the problem with msn money is you sort of get just uh, the last five years so if you want to sort of uh, do a longer analysis like the last 10 years then you need to go through the annual report of the said company so for dialogue sendian berhad uh, 2010, the EPS is 2.6 cents. And then for 2009, it is 2 cents. 
So the initial, so the initial EPS is two cents. Okay, so it times with hundred percent. So then you take your calculator, you do the math. Okay, you should get uh thirty percent. So indirectly, uh, what is telling, uh, what this piece of information is telling? As long as the number of share is same for in 2009 and 2010, then we can sort of say that the company net profit has increased about 30%. This is assuming that uh, the number of shares are same. So indirectly, the EPS is showing you that uh, the company's net profit actually increased by 30%. Okay, assuming that the number of shares stays the same from 2009 to 2010. All right, okay. So if you look, uh, you can do, you can check the other figures, how I got 26.92, 21.3. Okay, so this is actually the EPS growth for 2010. Okay, 2010. All right, so then uh, next thing, whenever you're going to see the EPS growth, it's not just uh, reasonable to just do a study for one year. Like example, you just don't do for this year. Okay, and then say, okay, this company, right? Overall, you can see that the EPS has grown 30%. A lot of company can sort of have a high uh, earning per share growth for one year, and then the rest of the year, they sort of decline. So what you want to do is actually you want to sort of study for a longer period. Like for example, for me, I study for 10 years. So if a company can have a high and consistent EPS growth for like 10 years, then we can sort of say that this company is quite good and we can sort of uh, Consider whether we want to invest on this or not. So let's say, uh, how do I do uh, this 10 years? Okay, from 2009 to 2019, 10 years. How do I find out the average? Average each year, how much the EPS is growing? So the formula is final value, the last value, divide with initial value, 1 divided with t. So this t is the time in year. Okay. Time in year. So let's say uh, now the final value. So first we need to know that how many years we're talking about. So from here, so from here to here is 1. So this is called one year, right? And then you got two, three. You need to count in between, right? So this is the second year from 2010 to 2011. From 2011 to 2012 is the third year and so forth, right? So this is the fourth. This is the fifth. This is the sixth. This is the seventh. From here to here, you got your eight, nine, and ten. So that means there's actually, if you start, uh, let's say, uh, from the end of 2009 to the end of 2010, then that would be one year. So like that, we have ten years. So in here, the T is. 10 years. So what's the final value? So the final value will be the final EPS at 2019. So the final EPS is 9.5 cents. You divide with the initial value. So you're starting with the 2009 EPS, which is 
So 1 over t, so you have 1 over 10, right? t is 10 years. Then you minus with 1. So if you take, let me punch this value into the calculator. So you're getting 9.5 divided with 2 to the power of 0 0.1. Yep. Okay, so you're going to get about 0 0.168. Okay, for this whole thing. And then don't forget, right? You don't forget, you have to times with 100%. So here you got to times with 100%. So here you're going to get a uh, sixteen point eight percent. So this shows you that has an average each year, right? Is growing about sixteen point eight percent from two thousand nine to two thousand ten is growing about sixteen point eight percent. Two thousand ten to two thousand eleven is growing about sixteen point eight percent. Has an average. So it's extremely uh good performance by this company is able to maintain for 10 years but if you look at uh, if you look if you analyze the data further even if you take uh, for the past 20 years right they're actually able to maintain this extremely high growth whenever you are looking at eps what is important you want need to sort of have a consistent growth every year you do not want a company like uh, example a bad example of company would be something like this example let's say i'm getting a two here and i'm ending at 9.5 right a company that uh, is having a bad eps or what uh, it could be something like you get uh, maybe here you're getting six right then suddenly you go to negative seven okay then you go to negative eight then you come to negative one so they are making actually a uh, loss and then they sort of come to three then they reduce the next day their eps reduce come to one okay stay at one and then suddenly they have a jump so this actually doesn't show a good eps growth because for most of time the growth was not consistent there were many years lost and then only for one particular year from 2018 to 2019 they sort of made a very huge profit so there's no chance that this would be like a repeating the next year so for those kind of company, even though if you use this formula, you'll still get 16.8%. Let's say if I if I plug in this value, I'm still going to get 16.8%. But that doesn't show me a good company because it shows me that the earnings are fluctuating. One, then they only have a single year where they did extremely well. So what you want is to actually have a consistent earning per share. Good. Okay, guys, thank you for listening to this video. There'll be more videos uh, I'm going to add up. I'll be talking about things like uh, analysis of certain companies that I feel is very good. Okay. I'll show you how to use uh, Yahoo Finance, MSN Money to make your calculation or to do your analysis of the company more faster. I'll show you how to do intrinsic value, how to find intrinsic value of a company. How to know whether a company is undervalued or overvalued. So all these okay, will be in the next videos. So do not forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you.